What's going on guys? I'm out mapped. Welcome back to another video. Uh today I'm here with Ryan and Sparky. Hello. Hey. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be discussing our top 5 favorite games of all times. I did make a video of this a long time ago, but to be honest, when I made that video, I wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> and I said like a bunch of different games. I did enjoy them a lot, but you know, they weren't true my favorite games of all time. This is the list. This is the list you'll be hearing from all of us. Not the same. They're all different, but they're all great games. Let's get into it. So, coming in at my number five is Halo 3. Had, like, the most memories on that game. It was absolutely fantastic. I met a lot of great people on that game, and, you know, it was just a fantastic game, wasn't it? Uh, anyone else agree with that? Halo 3, yes? Yeah, I liked Halo, Halo 3. 3. What a game. It was a good game. What a game. It was a good game. Yeah. And then Very good memories. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming in at number four, childhood fa one of my childhood favourites, other than number three, of course, but we'll get to that. Crash Bandicoot, what a fantastic childhood game, holy crap, I grew up playing this game, it was absolutely fantastic, really, really enjoyed it. And then coming in at number three, Spyro, even better. You know, all the Spyro games were great, I, I don't like that they've ruined him with that Skylanders ball crap, whatever that is. No, I've never even played it, but he looks terrible now. Uh, have you guys seen what Spy what they've done to Spyro? Oh god, it looks terrible. Uh, god, I haven't seen it, no. God, if you look up Spyro Skylanders, mate, you'll be seeing that. Oh, it's just an abomination. <laughs> oh, I'm he, looking at it right now. He's been ruined. It's what, just ridiculous. Whoa. What what have they done to it? What yeah, the? they've just completely ruined Spyro. But yeah, that's my number three. Other than the Skylanders bit, before that, all the Spyro games were fantastic. Absolutely enjoyed every single one of them. And uh, yeah, that was that. So coming in at number two... This was on the list last time. I think it was number two as well on the list, or maybe number three. I'm not too sure. But Rainbow Six Vegas, fantastic, man. Like, you, you can't get any better. Well, other than my number one. But, you know, you know this, this was great as well. Played a lot of Terrorist Hunt. That was the best game mode ever on that game. I'm telling you right now. All, both of them. And there's a new one coming out as well, which makes it even better. Like, thank God they're continuing those types of games. Like, it's great. There's actually two coming out, I think. They're going to be two. They, they announced one, which is Rainbow Six Siege, and they right. announced another one ages ago. I can't remember what they called it. It was yeah. like it was Rainbow Six something, but um, right. I think they, they it's like on hold or something. But they haven't cancelled it. But it's still yeah. like they haven't had any information on it in ages. But there All might right. be two. So yeah, something to keep an eye on. All right, that's good. So coming in at number one, this has always been the same for me forever since I played it in like two thousand two. Maybe 2004 it came out. I can't remember too much. But Gears of War, all the Gears of War games. Judgment was a little like meh. But I still enjoyed it uh, because it was a Gears of War game. I've got a lot of stuff on Gears of War ordered. Uh, that Like replica guns and all the best copies of Gears of War. You know, it's fantastic. But yeah, that's my favorite game of all time. And uh, we'll move on to someone else's list. Who wants to go next? Who, who's going next? Ryan, know. you want to go next? Right, sure, you can go I'll next. next. So, coming in number five, I have picked the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. So, comparing this to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, I don't know, I didn't really like Skyrim that much. Like, Oblivion was a lot brighter, I felt, and it, it came out such a long time ago as well. It just had so many memories to do with it. Like, it was a game that we always played when we were younger. Like, this is about eight years ago. It must be really old now, but, like, the soundtrack of it was good. The game looked good for the time when it came out, and it was just, I don't know, it was, it was really fun. I, I don't know. For Skyrim, really, it didn't really... I don't think it really matched up to Oblivion in time play. Like, I played through Skyrim once, and then never really played through it again. Oblivion, I think I completed four or five times. So you compare them statistics, like... You know, I could put Skyrim on here, but I don't think it really matched up in Oblivion in terms of actual time worth playing. Yeah. Uh, number four... I've come in with Grand Theft Auto, so this is another game I've been playing from a very young age. I don't know if that's technically good for my mental state. No, probably not. <laughs> I, was playing, I was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City when I was in when I was about six years old, cutting people's heads off with a machete. Um, <laughs> that's how you like to live life, isn't it, from a young <laughs> age? Yeah. Um, probably not very good for my mental health, but I've turned out right. Or at least I think I have. But, um, yeah, I mean... They've all been good, like um, Liberty City Stories, you know, and uh, the one with Nico in it, you know, and the new, the new one was pretty good. You know, they think they've all been reasonably good games, San Andreas and all those. Like, the first one I played was obviously Vice City, but all of them have been good up to this point, you know, they've always been solid games. I mean, they always come out at 
really varied points like coming out after each other. But I feel like they've always, always, always been solid good games when they come out. And, you know, they're always they're always engrossing as well. Yeah, so. yeah. San Andreas was definitely my favourite out of the GTAs. Yeah. Um, I think looking back at it, I had the most memories on Vice, or not on Vice City, on um, Nico. I can't remember what it's called, Liberty City. Yeah. Um, simply because of the multiplayer and stuff like that, like the free mode, friends, like blowing people up with rocket launchers, shooting yeah, yeah, down yeah. In helicopters and stuff. Yeah, it was six just so years good. old. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, you're probably a bit older then. But yeah. Yeah. So coming in number three is Fallout Three. Now, this game was so good. Like. The only complaint we had when it originally came out was that you died at the end and you couldn't carry on with the game. But then they came out with like a load of DLCs, and the DLCs were awesome. Like they were all really good. Like normally when a game comes out, like there's always like a couple of DLCs. You're like, oh, these are really good. And then the other half from you're like, uh, meh, these aren't very good. But Fallout 3, all of the DLCs, in my opinion anyway, were all really, really good. So I really loved that game. It was really, really good. Like. Everything about it, the story was engrossing. Obviously, it's another Bethesda game, so from the people who made Oblivion. So, of course, I'm gonna probably like it. But yeah, you're obsessed with that. Bethesda, give us Fallout 4, just please. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that, maybe that will top number one. I mean, it's pretty hard to do, but maybe you know, if you're yeah. really good, maybe. But Fallout 3, definitely. I mean, if you haven't played that, definitely play it. It's really good. So. Number two is the Command & Conquer series. So this is a series that I've been playing for a very young age, strategy games. Um, probably my personal favourites were Red Alert 2 and Command & Conquer Generals. So these are all like strategy games of obviously warfare and stuff like that. So I think uh, Red Alert 2 came out in about 2001. So I would have been four when this came out, but I think I was playing it about the age of six or seven. So, you know, it's always something that's... Um, even now, I go back to it. I play it, even with the old graphics that it has now. Like I still go back to it even now and play it. Like it, it's basically the definition of gameplay makes the game, not the graphics. Like even though the graphics are so old, it's still so good today. Golden. I mean, yeah, and the fact that they're not actually making any more at the moment is kind of sad. But EA kind of shout on the name, but <laughs> yeah, the old games. That's know, what they usually everything. do, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, EA always shits on everything. But yeah, Command & Conquer games definitely got to be up there. I mean, originally it would have been Fallout 3 and number 2, but once I remember Command & Conquer, I, just, I, couldn't, I couldn't put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, finally, at number 1, I've picked the Halo series because it's something I've played from also a very young age. It was actually the first game I played. The first game I ever played was Halo 2, around my cousin's house. The first game I owned was Halo Combat Evolved on PC. I've also got all of the Halo editions, all the most expensive ones. I've got the Master Chief uh, helmet on my little drawers over there, which I'm looking at right now. All the additions, I mean, I'm rating on Halo Reach turn up, so that should be pretty good, but... You know, yeah, he made me buy really the good. Gears of War stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of my fault. I told him about what I'd done, then he just kind of did it as well. Yeah. But I think probably if I had to pick my favourites um, out of all the Halo games, it'd probably be Halo 3, uh, Halo Reach, and Halo 2. Um, I mean, I liked Halo 1, but like, if I replay it now, I get kind of bored. I'm not quite sure why that is. I mean, I think probably it's played it too much, because, yeah. because I've played it to death, probably. But Yeah. I mean... Halo comes out at number one because just so many memories, you know, playing online and stuff. The campaigns are so good, like, especially Halo Reach. Even, you know, with all the people dying and the story, it was just so good. But that yeah. is definitely, you know, it'd be pretty hard to top Halo for me. But Fallout 4, come on, Bethesda, see this. Give us <laughs> yeah. it. Give us it Def now. <laughs> definitely the, those types of games, like, with a storyline where you can actually get attached to the characters, it's, like, yeah. kind of great, isn't it? Like, in Halo, you get like attached to Master Chief, and everyone's scared, like, oh, he might die soon and whatnot. It's like, oh yeah. no, it can't happen. But uh, yeah, we'll move on to Spark. He's top five. Hello. Now. Hello. Hello. Press is on now with me. Right. Yep. So, for my first game, which is the fifth on the list, would be Desert Storm. And to be honest, I loved the game back then from Pivotal Games. And I'd say. My list is going to be a bit more specific game-wise, because um, I don't really want to go on to the entire franchise, so yeah. But I'm saying Desert Storm because it's one of those games that you have you have to be patient and you have time to play it all. Um, I know that Ryan's played a lot of the games, so he's familiar yeah. with that. And, it's a very good game. Yeah, I played a lot of it with my dad at the time, because I was a bit retarded, so yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so yeah, I love, I love, I love the game series. For the fourth on my list is Infamous, and I haven't played Infamous two or 
or um, the new Second ones, Sam. which is bad of me, but I'm just going to go for Infamous because I just I love the game. I loved the character Cole. Uh, shoot lightning, film at people, yeah! I just love lightning. Yes, Sparky's addicted to lightning. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I loved Infamous. I just love the uh, third person type game style, because I just like the awareness around you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. On, Second um, Sun was a great game. Yeah. For the third on my list would have to be Magicka, because not only because you're a wizard going around and shooting spells at each other or at the enemy if you want to, um, but because of the absurd amount of references and b banter <laughs> within the game itself. From um, You made it sound like you don't want to kill the enemies, you just want to kill your teammates there. Yeah, <laughs> well, you can do that. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've done it a lot with Crimson, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... Everyone's killed me most of the time. I don't know what I'm doing. But, but yeah, you know, love the game. I'm looking forward to Magicka 2. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just a good game. It, even though it can be a buggy piece of crap sometimes, <laughs> it's, it's still a good game. Yeah. But yeah, on my for my second game on the list, you may not believe me for this one, but it has to be Halo 2. And the reason being is I love Halo 2. I love playing it for a first-person shooter at the time. And I just love the story out of all of it within the Halo universe. Um, I loved the enemy. I loved how different they were. So they weren't all just the same type of enemy. There was a number of different ones. So, like, there's just humans fighting yeah. against aliens. It's just different aliens because you've got grunts, elites, brutes, etc. It's just, it's just a big variety as well as a variety of vehicles and weapons. Yeah. So it's just a good game overall. I never played the first Halo at first, but I did as my second Halo game. But yeah, yeah, I just loved it. And you may be wondering why that isn't really on my top list, considering I'm doing a Let's Play of it at the moment. Um, so, <laughs> even though it's one of my favorite games, it's not really the first game I ever played, and I've just timed out. There we go. Cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah... My f the first game I played was on Dreamcast. Some of you may remember it, and I know some of you may not, like these two here. <laughs> they do not remember this <laughs> I've game. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, no, me neither. But it is Fur Fighters, and it's it's a classic it's uh -huh. a classic game. And it it's it's very big for the time. It's one of a kind. It's there's no spin offs or any of that, it's just one of its kind and I just like how like I just like how childish it really is. Cause yeah, that game looks really weird. I just yeah. googled it. <laughs> yeah, it was a big game that I played as a kid, and I had many hours of fun. <laughs> never completed it. I think it's the only game in in the list that I had never been able to complete. Cause and it's on your first. <laughs> yes, as the levels progressed, they did get harder, but it was it was a fun game. Yeah, looks pretty funny, right. but. Uh... Yeah, that's everyone. That's everyone's top five games. Let us know if you want to. Let us know in the comments what your favorite games are. This has been really fun. You know, it, we just thought of it as a like a resort. It was just like ah, whatever. We'll just do it right now, and uh, you know, we'll just get out of the way with. And uh, it was pretty fun. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, obviously, let us know again, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all in another video. Bye. Peace out. See you.